Okay, so back in March 6, 2016, I released a teaser for a list, Top 20 Most Well Manly Anime Characters, and in the description I wrote, coming soon in May or June, if September 2016. Boy was I wrong. Wait a minute, there's something different here. <gasps> Look, it's a 25! Originally, it was going to be 20, but after putting much thought, I didn't want to leave out certain characters given their history in shaping masculine feminism. Feminine masculinity, aka well manliness. Some of you may be asking, what's a well manly character? Well, it's the opposite gender of a manly character. At the last day of 2014, I released my list of top 20 most manly anime characters. In that video, I describe masculinity having a certain visual appearance included with traits you see on screen. For women, it's nearly identical with minimal changes such as manly friendship to well manly friendship. Manly characters are easily identified via physical image, usually in a muscular figure, but I believe their faces gain more attention in making a first impression. Despite being popular in the 1980s, it's still a detailed art style that receives respect, even in the modern animation and manga of the 2010s. The same can be seen with women characters, but most of them tend to remain attractive despite their angry looking expression. However, a manly or womanly character doesn't need to have a grandiose figure to be considered tough honorable or masculine. Typically, when you want to create a character who sticks out from the rest of the cast, the design needs to have a clear contrast, especially when we judge things with our eyes first. An image is the very first thing our brain processes, much like seeing lightning first and hearing the thunder afterward. A detailed or muscular art style does help in conveying masculinity, but what truly matters is the inside. I've come across characters who are some of the greatest people in anime, yet they aren't in the best shape. A good chunk of anime villains are very thin, but sometimes are just as dangerous or evil as the intimidating muscle villains. The same can be said with honorable characters and certainly with most women in this list. I suppose it's a matter of preference or what's trending, but this list will hopefully give you an insight of a womanly woman. A very basic example of a womanly character are the ladies of Street Fighter or Daidoji from Senran Kagura. Unfortunately, there aren't any game characters on this list, but I hope I can get you interested in some old or newer anime or manga series. Womanly characters are surprisingly more common than manly men, even outside of anime. There's so many that a list of 25 characters isn't enough. I'm pretty sure I can make a list of top 100, but that's an idea for another day. So throughout these videos, I'll be mentioning other characters that didn't make it to the list and plan to make other Womanly type videos much later in the future. Womanly characters are everywhere. They're on the shows you stream. They were on the TV screen back then. And they're still on TV. Some even made it to the big screen. They're in the games you play. They're even in children's shows and movies and definitely in the comics you read. If you liked anything from what I just showed you, then stay tuned for the top 25 most Womanly anime characters.